first, new furniture means a new tax rate for people living in McLean County. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Mark Welp. And I'm Shelby Roberts. WMBD's Austin Schick breaks down just how much the county's board decision will affect your wallet. McLean County's 20 board members voting Tuesday night on a $38.2 million tax levy. That means a slight raise in taxes for county taxpayers. The 0.027% raise in personal property taxes going to fund new furniture at the county's Lawn Justice Center. On the average home, it's about 24 cents. For some people, it would be more than that. For some people, it would be less than that. The board voting 14 to 6 to pass the budget. That's despite attempts from Republican board member Chuck Erickson to remove it. If you consider that we had a $130 million budget, and we, I proposed we take out $18,500. Some supporters believe the county facilities have been underfunded because the board is unwilling to spend money. However, Erickson says that just isn't true. But it has nothing to do with stinginess of McLean County board members. It has nothing to do with being, a, being tight with money. It's just we had priorities that we thought we had to do and we made sure we did them. Those who voted yes on the levy saying doing it now prevents bigger replacements or fixes long term. We want to try and make sure that our money is being spent, taxpayers' money is being spent well, but we also don't want to make it three, four years down the road. We're being more proactive and we're doing so so that we're going to save taxpayers' money over the long run. The board also setting into place its district maps for the next 10 years. We'll have more coverage of the county board meeting on our website, ciproud.com. In the Twin Cities Newsroom, I'm Austin Chick.